Welcome to Connect with Rohan D. Alvis. I have immense pleasure in introducing to you an exceptional person all the way from Sri Lanka. As you have seen some of my programs, I have interviewed people who have over the years gained much experience and contributed to society, as well as females who have broken the glass barrier. Today, I have the privilege of introducing to you somebody who has been working in this particular field of her choice uh, from the very tender age of six and therefore has that much of experience over the years uh, and also uh, who's obviously a female who's broken the, the, the mythical and possibly the real glass ceiling and that is none other than national and international award winner Srimati Tivya Sujan. Very warm welcome to you, uh, Tivya. Greetings, Hitler. Greetings uh, on, from this program to you. Now, I have gone on to introduce you as somebody who has been uh, in your chosen field from the age of six. Now, what is this field? I want you to explain rather than me explaining. This yeah, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you for giving me to introduce myself. So, I'm basically a Bharatanatyam artist. Yes. So, I love dancing and I love Bharatanatyam. So, that's my main field, I guess. Um, so, I'm into dancing from 86 and uh, I have my own dance school in Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. For the past 16 years, I've been in Kshetra School of Dance. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now that, that's, that's, I mean, you, you sort of fast forward from age six to where you are today. Yes. But let me, for the, uh, the benefit and knowledge of our viewers, uh, say that she uh, is uh, uh, been bestowed with the Kalashuri Award from Sri Lanka uh, and um, also had the opportunity of uh, receiving in India uh, the traditional Gurukula relationship of study uh, and we will talk about it uh, in a few minutes. So before we get to the, the nitty-gritty, uh, um, tell us uh, how you got interested in uh, the art of uh, Bharatanatyam and also for the benefit of some of our listeners, but most of our, them are aware of what Bharatanatyam is, mm -hmm. a little bit of a background about what Bharatanatyam is. Okay, Bharatanatyam is a traditional dance form, uh, basically from South India. Um, anyway, um, I think dancing is in my blood, I guess. So, but uh, in my home, uh, my mom and dad, Maybe my mom, she mm -hmm. loves music a lot. But at one point, I realized that uh, whatever I see from out, I'm dancing inside within me. <laughs> so there I got like, okay, I have to travel more in dancing. So when I was in Sri Lanka, in my school days, I learned under a few gurus, teachers. They are so good. They are so good enough to give me so much of knowledge and technique in dance. But then I realized at one point it is uh, dancing is not just learning a knowledge of technique, it's something beyond. Mm. Then I started my journey with the uh, uh, Guru Padma Bhushan Sivi Chandra Sarkar sir in Chennai. Yeah, so this is something I was going to ask you. Uh, Padma Bhushan, uh, Sri uh, Professor Sivi Chandra Shekhar. Mm -hmm. uh, now, the, the, the title of Padma Bhushan is, I believe, the third yes, highest, highest uh, civil, uh, civilian award. Yeah, the civilian award conferred by the Republic of India. Exactly. So, f for the benefit of uh, all the uh, Bharatanatyam uh, uh, artists as well as those who have a very good interest mm -hmm. uh, in, in this particular fine art, mm -hmm. could you just explain to us? especially those who do not know about uh, uh, Sri Chandra Shekhar? Of course, <laughs> honoured and privileged. And I'm so happy and fortunate to uh, do my master's uh, thesis about my guru and his biography and his contribution to art field. So, uh, Chandra Shekhar said, he was in North India, then he moved to South India some, 
I think um, somewhere in 2000, early 2000. So I met my guru in 2005 mm. after my levels and um, he is a, a direct disciple of Rukmini Amma from Kalakshetra. So they are keeping that exact traditional values and traditional art form with them. Um, and he is a good, I mean, he's still performing. I think mm. he, he performed it in his uh, 84, I guess. 84. And he also performed in Sri Lanka uh, for his 80th birthday. It's a great blessing for all Sri Lankan dancers and artists. So this, this school of fine art is basically a one-to-one -one, uh, tuition or tuition? Not exactly, but he, uh, you know, those gurus, they will not take... Uh, group classes or so many people can just simply go and learn from them. So, so th this, this is yeah. very important for our viewers. This is called the Asian Guru Kula, the teacher and the pupil relationship. Mm -hmm. It's not the one that we know in modern times. Uh, so explain perhaps uh, okay, what happened I, there. I can explain from my experience Absolutely. only. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, then I thought of learning from him but the moment I go there, then he asked me to just um, show one or two pieces from mm. what I learned earlier. And then he said, okay, uh, you can learn under my daughter. Mm. So then I realized, what is this? Mm. <laughs> I was coming to learn under him and he's not taking. Then, then slowly I understood that I have to change a lot to even become a student of him. Mm. Mm. So almost around six months, I was into that process of getting into their culture and uh, transforming myself mm. uh, to prepare myself to learn under him. At one good fine day he said like, okay, here after I take your classes. So that's my <laughs> that's yeah. my day. That, that's how you graduated from uh, being an intern to yes, a yes. Full, full student. As you said, whatever the international awards I got, but you yeah. know, that day is my real best uh, mm. awarding day, I feel. <laughs> and, and, and once you, uh, so how long was this course? Uh, the, the it's, it's, not a, it's not a course like no, uh, no. institutes and all, yeah. because this is kind of a Gurukula system. Absolutely. So, so whenever I'm free, I immediately go to him and I surrender to him, like, mm. you know. Mm. And uh, it, is, it is not a commercial thing that he's doing. Mm. So we can simply go and learn items only that nowadays currently the people who are like interested to learn only one pieces or items or something we call mm. Mm. a margam or mm. set of a, you know, that five minutes item yes. where they can perform mm. later on. But if this is not exactly like that, this is like um, they are giving everything to mm. us. And, and when did you uh, then come back to Sri Lanka after yeah, the, um, the, the Gurukula tradition of learning? Yeah, I did my uh, A levels. I, I did maths in my A levels, and then I wanted to do SIMA. So I came back in 2006, and then I started doing. I started my dance class, Abhinavshetra School of Dance. There we have a um, note uh, oriented NCOMS exam board in Sri Lanka. We only that Bharatanatyam or any other fine arts exam exam board. Mm. So I have uh, completed my um, teacher's grade exam in both Bharatanatyam and Mridangam. That right. is uh, we call it like, the, you know. The, the, the drums, drums, the bearer. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. so, so then I started my dance school, Abhinay Kshetra School of Dance in 2006. So where, where then, is your school situated? Uh, in Colombo, Bambalapete. Bambalapete, yeah. yeah. Right. So and you live in Bambalapete? Uh, I live in Bambalapete and also it's registered under Ministry of Culture in Sri Lanka. And then I started my CMI in 2007 somewhere. <laughs> so uh, Abhinay Kshetra School of yes. Dance. Yes. That's in Bambalapitiya. That's that's yours. So, tell us now. You you were trained in the Gurukula system uh, in India. You come over, come back to Sri Lanka, uh, mm -hmm. and you started your own uh, school of dance. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you enroll students, or how do you teach students? Explain to us. Okay. Um, when I start my dance class, I thought of like giving to the people who are not uh, really. Um, aware of dancing, traditional dancing, mm. and who can't afford to pay yeah. for such art form. So for those people only I started my dancing class as a kind of a charity. Then again for almost a decade, it's simply like how I learned from my guru, the mm. same traditional gurukula system we maintain even at Abhinay Kshetra. And there is not like enrollment or mm. getting the fees from the students or whatever. <laughs> uh, then slowly, um, now it's almost 16 years, mm. slowly now it get into the shape like a proper school mm. and now we have some assistant teachers as well as enrolling system and 
some of the kind of process to like you know emerge with the current uh, situation so in sri lanka you see a lot of sri lankan students uh, following bharatanatyam huh. and uh, making their arangetram performances from time to time. Now, you explain to us what the Bharatanatya means, because Bharata means obviously the India uh, in, in, in Hindustani, uh, and of course Natya means the dance, so it's an Indian dance, but again the Indian dance, the source of that Indian dance is South India overall, uh, as opposed to the North India uh, geographical aspects. Now. In South India, of course, there are many states mm -hmm. and for the benefit of our viewers and listeners, explain to us, in addition to the particular Bharatanatyam, what are the other aspects in South India that we have in Sri Lanka as well, like Kerala and uh, various uh, other yes, places? Yes, of course, uh, Sri Lanka, we have, we have Bharatanatyam, of course. And then Kerala uh, dancing style, Mohini Atam, we still have Mohini, Mohini Atam. Mohini Atam. Yeah, right. it's, it's a traditional art form again. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have Kuchupudi also in Sri Lanka. One or two teachers, they are teaching that. And where does that come from? Uh, Kuchupudi also uh, in Indian yeah. art. Yeah. And yeah. also we have North India uh, Kathak. That also a traditional art form. Kathak. We have in Sri Lanka Kathak. And uh, Odyssey is like uh, kind of a Kandyan uh, movements it has in Odyssey. So we have that also kind of like one, only one or two teachers are teaching Odyssey it, it, dance forms as well. But it's Odisha, nice. Odisha, that's from Odisha, Odisha State. Odisha Odisha State. State in today. So these all are the traditional art forms in uh, Sri Lanka. Yeah, the reason I ask you is because we in Sri Lanka uh, have a combination of uh, uh, assimilation of cultures and you mentioned the Odisha or the Orissa uh, mm -hmm. uh, state of uh, form of dancing which has similarities to Kandyan dance mm -hmm. and of course in Sri Lanka within the Sinhalese community you have obviously the Kandyan dancing, the low country dancing and of course other regions such as Sandragama yes, yes. and various other places uh, and then we also have Bali from obviously the word Bali comes from Bali in Indonesia the Southeast Asian mm -hmm. countries and so on so this is the reason why I'm asking about not just the Bharatanatyam aspects that you are an expert and exponent on. Uh, so, do you have a, sort of a, a rapport or a relationship where we could have uh, uh, across the board uh, forms of traditional dancing that you have got involved in Sri Lanka? Definitely, yes. Uh, art is a language, so mm -hmm. any, any art form can come together. Mm -hmm. So, and we have done so many Rijugal Bandi programs with Kandyan dance forms mm -hmm. and also with Kathak dancers and Mohini Atam as well. So, uh, it's, it's basically a beautiful thing that we, we present two art forms on the same stage with so much of uh, understanding. At and the same time? At the same time, oh, at the same time at the yes, same at time. the same time. So, so, we learn their movements, how it comes and then we merge our dance in Bharatanatyam as well to, uh, you know, just to join with them and mm. their movements as well. So this is, apart from dancing or movements, it's basically an understanding and it's, it's a love. And it it's comes out from the, from the bottom of the heart, heart basically. Exactly. Yeah, this is, this is important, teaching or learning uh, this type of fine art is not just a physical uh, learning aspects from the brain, but it has to come out from the heart and soul of the person and that's what makes a, a good artist uh, in the art of fine art, if you exactly. know. Exactly, Abhinakshetra has collaborated almost 100 plus artists from Sh India. In India. And uh, we are basically into main uh, two uh, things, one is the Arangetrams, we have called it. So, where we do some thematic presentation in Arangetrams, where we do some research work, mm. uh, we are not simply just uh, presenting a, an item which is already there. So, we do some research work and we create some new items and we create it like, you know, uh, to present it to the society where we can give some message through the dance. So mm -hmm. that is one, one thing that we are doing from Abhinay Kshetra. And the next thing is productions and collaboration work with the international artists. Mm. So you, you have represented Sri Lanka in international uh, uh, festivals. Yes. Ex tell us a little bit about some of those. Uh, yeah, of course, uh, I think my first experience in 2006 mm -hmm. at Norway Osla Mela International Art Festival. So where I represent uh, from Sri Lanka. 
So then also we did candy and anbarkam uh, yoga bandhi item as well. So we had three at that time from the present to uh, Arushri Art Theatre. And uh, after that yes, uh, I have done many programs in India and uh, of course Switzerland, now in England. <laughs> England, I mean uh, you could see uh, the uh, some of the performances of uh, Tibia uh, in uh, uh, the recent Diwali uh, celebrations held at the Sri Lankan High Commission in London. Uh, that's where I also saw Tivya perform uh, and uh, this, uh, that led to this interview today yes. because I was fascinated by the performance uh, and the overall uh, event. Yeah, it was very well done. Congratulations Thank to you. you. And uh, uh, that perhaps shows the commitment and the passion that you have from the age of six up to now and long may it continue and uh, coming back to um, the uh, your your f fine art that you have perfected how are you giving something back to Sri Lanka and to the rest of the world I mean do you have uh, a sort of an organized uh, connections with other artists both yes, in exactly. Sri Lanka and abroad uh, as we already talked about our Abhinakshadra School of Dance where we try to balance our traditional teaching method as well as the you know whatever the students wants we try to give them but apart from this um, during this lockdown especially because mm. it helped us a lot mm. uh, this period uh, and also to mark uh, my guru's 85th birthday right. uh, so we started an association called Global Association of Sri Lankan Bharatanatyam artists where we uh, connect with globally with the Sri Lankan dance teachers mm. because um, most of the dance teachers you know many people they have contributed a lot to the Sri Lankan uh, community they have moved uh, to abroad in mm. somewhere early 1980s mm. um, so we thought of like you know high born after that mm. <laughs> so I haven't met any of them so then I thought like okay um, it's better to connect with them and get their experience and the contribution what they have done to our Sri Lankan community as well as where they are now with mm. the other community and the other language speaking people how they are taking this art form to other communities that we need to understand and we have to I think we have to uh, make it a record for them like kind of a documentation so that's where uh, we started global association and now I I think we have almost uh, 250 dance teachers in our 250 250 dance teachers and uh, I'm very thankful to uh, my cousin and uh, the secretary of uh, Global Association, Mrs. Narendra Suresh Kumar, who is based in England, uh, for helping me and supporting us for throughout our activities. Now that, that that's important because uh, you have a network of around 250, uh, and hopefully it will grow. But more than the quantity, it's the yes, the, yes. the passion and the the the. the uh, confidence that comes out of it uh, on an international basis is what's very important. So there I have to mark this also because we have uh, organized a Diwali festival mm. for global association dance teachers who are based in the UK. Right. Uh, so it's it's really a lovely experience for all of us because we met them very first time mm. and we danced together on the stage like you know Diwali function and uh, I think there are around uh, 20, 20 or 25 plus dance teachers uh, from UK, mm. uh, members of Global Association currently. That's, that's uh, really encouraging to hear that uh, the traditional forms of art, in this particular case the Bharatanatyam from a Sri Lankan aspect, uh, is uh, taken very seriously by second and third generation mm. Sri Lankans because they are not the original Sri Lankans, uh, if you know what I mean, yeah. uh, that, that's evolution and so on. Um, now, uh, you are, you received at a very early age, and I mean age, not even experience here, <laughs> the Kalashuri Award for uh, this area uh, of specialism uh, from the government of Sri Lanka or from the president of Sri Lanka. Uh, Give us a little bit of the background about uh, the Kalashuri Award and uh, how it was, how it took place, and so on. Uh, of course, it's a quite responsible for me <laughs> to receive such uh, pre prestigious awards. Mm. But this award basically uh, 
one thing is directly from the government that means president of uh, sri lanka uh, from their board they elect and give and the other thing is uh, from other ministries they recommend and they uh, they try to give that uh, kalashari award so that's how i i received this award and um, apart from you know being kalashari and all it's it's quite a real responsible then only i you know i started back to give something for community because that's my responsible i guess and that's what you're doing now. <laughs> no, that, that, that's really good to hear because most of the kalashuri awards are given to and i'm going to talk about ageism here to people of a certain age within having reached a number of years or many years of uh, experience in a particular field but you have uh, not only broken the glass ceiling as a, a young woman uh, but also been recognized for your area of specialism uh, by a state recognition, in this case the Republic of Sri Lanka's Kalashuri Award. So, uh, congratulations and best wishes uh, to you. Uh, normally I start this program by asking about the person that I'm interviewing, that's you. But I went straight into your field of uh, specialism okay. and so on. So, now is the time before we conclude. Okay. Having received, I think, 29 national and international awards, oh. There must be a personal side to you. Tell us about you and your family, if you oh, wish to. Of course, thank you. And um, yeah, um, apart from Bharatanatyam, I'm also working for a multinational company. And I'm thankful to all of them because they are giving me so much of permission and <laughs> granting leave for me to travel all the way. And uh, yeah, CIMA and MBA, it's, that's also one of my passion. And so I you work in, as an accountant or in what area? Yes, of yes, I'm, I'm, I'm also an accountant, I'm basically an accountant and then I'm working for a division called uh, Power Solutions. Mm -hmm. um, so I think <laughs> I have to, I love to move uh, for, forward with my dancing career more mm -hmm. uh, at one point. <laughs> sure. And also I'm very thankful to my family and of course my mom. Being a single mom, she has taken um, all the way for me to, you know, to get everything what I want. Mm. And uh, yeah, here I'm here today because of my cousin Rajana Suresh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and my students, parents from Abhinakshetra School of Dance, uh, they are so much supportive, and uh, you know, they know what exactly they are learning and what values they are getting from this out of this school. So not uh, not just uh, dancing or because there are so many teachers in uh, Sri Lanka as well, but uh, they are still with us. So thank you for everyone. <laughs> very good, very good. So thank you very much, Divya, for joining us today uh, in you. this it's program. Thank you. for me. <laughs> our pleasure as well, and uh, our best wishes uh, to you and for your professional and personal happiness and future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you.